Okay, we've made our two spacers. In a little while I'm going to make two more just like these so I can have spacers on both sides of the bar. But I want to make sure that these are going to work well. So the holes are already drilled in the bar and also in the plywood spacers. And I'm going to use washers here. Put a little space between the plywood and the chainsaw bar. So let me get that put together and we're going to test it out. So I want to check the fit of this and two locations on this jig. So we're going to be making cuts here and here, here and here. And the idea is for plywood to lay on the jig and not be able to slide off. So the head of the bolt is going to stop the jig from sliding. So it's got to work in that dimension and it's also going to have to work in this dimension which is a little different dimension. Okay. So that's going to work. I'm going to cut two more just like these and mount them on this side. And I have washers in between to space the plywood. So you'll see that this dimension is pretty wide. It's way beyond. So obviously we're going to have to cut closer. So right now these are a little extra long. I'm going to put the chain on here. And then I'm going to offset the edge of the chain by a quarter inch and mark these pieces and then make those cuts on these pieces. Okay, so we're going to mark these so we know which way to put them on in the future. So again, the 15th, 16th dimension was here. That goes on the motor side and to the, but to the interior toward the log. And then the inch and 3 16 dimension goes closer to the tip. But again, that dimension goes toward the center of the log. So once I've got that marked, and this is oriented just like it is on the plan sheet. Once I've got it marked on here, I'm going to write that on there so I know that points to the tip. And this points to the motor. Okay, so we've got our identical pieces here. So we're going to assemble just like this. We're going to have a washer between the plywood and the bar on both sides going to put the bolt up from the bottom. Now 
Now for those of you who are building jigs for a cabin that will have no gap between the logs, you'll want to build your whole set of jigs and these saw spacers and do a trial run on three logs and test your fit and if your gap is too tight or not tight enough you're going to adjust the space between the plywood and the bar using additional washers you're probably not going to need to go any thinner you may potentially need to go thicker but you can use thin washers um, if you really need to fine tune it you can use something even thinner like maybe some poster board so i do recommend using lock washers the vibration will cause them to come off if you don't use lock washers. Okay, we're going to tighten these up and then we're going to install this on the chainsaw along with the chain.